Hey, gearheads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. I'm here at Philmont Scout Ranch. Thrilled to be here, even more thrilled that Frank has joined me to share with us some information about the Rayado program. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell us? So Rayado is a program that is run by the Ranger Department here at Philmont. It is 21 days in the backcountry. Individuals that are 15 to not yet 21 come here as individuals, not part mm -hmm. of a crew. Here at Philmont, we form them into their crews. They are assigned two rangers, one over 21 and one under. And then those two rangers have built the itinerary, have designed where they're going to go, what program they're going to do, where their food pickups are, have thought of all the contingencies and safety issues that might arise. Mm -hmm. And then we send them off. They have their own backpacking experience led by those two rangers, and they get to see all of the ranch 20 days is a lot of time so they go north yeah. country wow. south country valle everywhere philmont has they go wow. and it challenges them spiritually physically and uh, mentally and we try to just change lives through that program about 37 percent of the ranger department actually was on a riata trek at one point in their lives wow. and they come back here in staff so it clearly has an impact on the staff themselves and it means a lot to everyone that's gone through the program a question I hear about Rayado sometimes is, so you have to have done a regular, like, what would you call it? Just a regular summer trek, a crew trek before. Yep. True or false? That is false. Oh. We have plenty of people that come out here as this is their first time. They just turned 15. They heard about the program. Maybe their hometown troop isn't really interested in the high adventure experience, right. or maybe they don't uh, want to go with the troop. They want to go for something bigger, something harder. So they mm -hmm. come here for Rayado. Nice. So the, the ideal candidate for this, you would say, um, well, I, I kind of want to look at both sides of it. The ideal candidate, and then, like, are there any people that really don't succeed? Like, if this is you, maybe this isn't the program for you, you'd be happier doing something mm -hmm. else? So, Rayado is a physically challenging, um, mm -hmm. you know, hike. You're doing 20 days of backpacking. Mm -hmm. Usually these treks hit the 120, 130, 150 mark. Wow. So they're covering a lot of miles. They're hitting all the peaks. Um, but the ideal candidate is not some, you know, force letter athlete that's mm -hmm. going to a D1 college, uh, but he can't, you know, empathize with his teammates, with his crewmates. Right, right. We want someone who's selfless, who can be a great member of their crew, mm -hmm. who can hike those miles and form those special bonds with their crew members that makes that experience so special right. for all those that have done it. Wow. It sounds like a phenomenal kind of growth experience. Um, I wish I'd have done something like that. So you said that the two uh, rangers design the program. Mm -hmm. uh, so does that mean that like year to year, it's not the same, it's whatever the rangers leading that specific trek yep. choose to do? That is correct. So currently, wow. uh, Rayado Chapel, first session Rayado happens on 620, so that's about mm -hmm. three days from now. We got off the trail, I just got done with our training trek mm -hmm. uh, yesterday. Wow. Since yesterday, yeah. our rangers have been over in the office and they've been planning these treks, going wow. camp by camp, what itinerary, food pickups, so on and so forth. No two are the same. And we really go above and beyond to make sure that these crews actually don't uh, meet up with each other. Hmm. We don't want them to you know, come together and take up too much of a space in camp and ruin it yeah. for a regular participant. Mm -hmm. We want them to just be another crew. And so we try right. to spread them out throughout the ranch, make them see everything that Philmont has to offer, um, and allow the regular participants to still have their Philmont experience and not have to deal with these special tracks coming in and out and affecting their program. Nice. So let, let's say someone watching this video is like, hey, I, I need to do this. Mm -hmm. What process do they need to go through? So what they need to do is they need to go to philmontscoutranch.org, um, and they need to find the Riata application. Mm -hmm. It's a paper application still, and they need to apply. Um, there is obviously a price of that, but mm -hmm. the bright side is that the Philmont Staff Association actually uh, has scholarships available for people oh, that wow. want to go on this. So you can come to next to nothing or a very low price right. and do this trek um, and get to enjoy Philmont. Okay, so let's say maybe they're not sure they want to do it. They mm -hmm. just want to get some more information. Uh, I'm sure there's some published information, mm -hmm. right? So where do they find that? That's on the website as well. Um, yeah. The published information is kind of uh, sparse. Mm -hmm. because the tagline <laughs> for the program is expect the unexpected. Uh -huh. uh, so if we told what we were going to be doing, kind of ruins the unexpected. <laughs> uh, so I guess the more information side is kind of hard. Um, it's something you got to jump in with both feet and be ready for whatever we throw at you. Yeah, so the next question was going to be if there are additional questions, who do they talk to? It sounds like, mm, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. 
Send if, up a smoke signal or something? <laughs> that could work. Um, they could also <laughs> just email us. Uh, my email is on the website. Okay. Or they can email Philmont Camping um, and just ask general questions like dates, um, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure they could find someone that's done it um, and talk Good to them idea. as well and just hear about what their experiences were um, and hear much it changed their life. Nice. All right. Anything else you want to cover? Uh, Philmont has a lot of great special trek uh, opportunities. Right, I was just one of them. Uh, the cons department has a STEM trek. They have OATC for Order of the Arrow members. They also have regular uh, trail building. Highly recommend checking those out. Those are always open and ready to accept people. Our Wrangler department also has special treks for people that want to work with horses and see how the ranching side of the, of, uh, the ranch works. Right, right. Oh, you know what I meant to ask? There's a lottery for the regular crew treks. Mm -hmm. Is that similar for Rayado? Is there like, what's the deadline and how, how soon do people need to decide before the trek would start? That kind of varies based off of need. Uh, so this year, our second session women's uh, program mm -hmm. only had four people coming. Mm -hmm. And we can't really run the program with four women. And so there was a massive campaign push. Mm -hmm. Private donors stepped in and we ended up getting four more women to join mm -hmm. on. And that just got solidified a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. um, so fortunately, we have a second session women's coming. Honestly, the big thing is just numbers. Mm -hmm. If we have a room open, someone can apply pretty late and still get in. Uh, yeah. But if we're filled up, you know, it's not much we can do. But it's all based on that application process. There's no lottery with it. All right. Awesome. If a parent's watching this and says, you know, what, this is perfect for my kid. I want to surprise them. Can they fill out that application? I believe so. But that's, you don't want to just send your kid out here blindsided with, hey, you're mm -hmm. doing this thing. Uh, see you in 20 days. Yep. Make sure that the kid is, you know, here for the right reasons. So it's not a daycare program <laughs> is what you're saying. Right? Yeah, that is exactly okay, what I'm saying. Okay, you hear that, right? <laughs> All right. I appreciate all the information. Uh, we'll do the, uh, the COVID distancing fake fist bump. <laughs> there it is. All right, <laughs> there we go. Uh, if you want any more information, um, that would spoil the program. But you know, if you want to ask, he, he told you how to ask. Frank also mentioned some other programs. Stick around, come back. We'll talk about some other ones, but that's it for now. Till next time, we'll see you on the trail. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you.